Hello there. My name is Josue Diaz. I am a licensed architect in the state of California. In today's Archie Corner episode, you will see a small clip from a lecture that I had the privilege of presenting to the University of Little Rock, Arkansas. If you are interested in watching the full lecture, you can see it in my Patreon account. You can find the details to my Patreon account in the video description box. I hope you like it. First and foremost, I wanted to to ask you guys why why do you guys think that we'd want to use steel framing? Uh, for example, this is uh, versus wood framing because we see a lot of wood framing around, right? So there, there's a few reasons why, but why do you guys think we would go with steel framing instead of wood framing? Does anybody have? Uh, any? Steel has better support than wood. Yeah. Very good. That's one. That's one. Uh, reason. It lasts longer. It lasts longer. Those are all good answers. Um, and one of the reasons that I, as an architect, often use um, steel is because I'm required to. And so I'm going to show you a few tables. I'm going to try to demystify some of the building code for you in a few minutes, which will be a challenge. Let me know if I if I do this any well. But I am going to share my screen with you. Um, can you see my screen there? It's it's an internet website. Yeah. This, by the way, is a free website that you can all have access to. And this, this is up.codes. Up and you can look for codes for all, all the states and, well, most of the states in, in the U United States. And I looked at the Arkansas building code here. And it's, it is based on the IBC, which is what most states use. So I wanted to show you a couple of things here. I'm going to go to chapter five that talks about building types. I'm not going to dwell too much on the difference between buildings, but you'll see that there's a type one, type two, type three, type four, and type five. And the main difference I want to get out of this is that if you look, let me see if I can zoom in so that maybe hopefully you can see this a bit better on your screen. So on the left-hand side, it tells me what type of building I want to build. In this case, if I want an office building, I, I want the B. And then A is for area and S is for stories. So this tells me, for example, what, I, what a type one allows. UL is unlimited. So do you guys see the difference between, you know, as you go from left to right, you see the square footage here of the different buildings. You see what happens as you get from a type five to type one, from a type one to a type five building. You see what the difference is there. What what happens to the square footage? Does it just get lower? Yeah, it gets lower, right? And same thing with the number of stories. You can see how uh, you have a limited number of stories, and then you go to eleven, five, three, five, three, up down to two. So. Again, I'm not going to get too much into it, but you can see that if you have a type one building, it allows you to have so much more square footage. It allows you to have so many more stories versus a type five where you are somewhat limited. This is only limited to two stories and you can only have 9,000 square feet per story. Because of what we do in commercial architecture, a lot of our buildings are pretty big. So in order for me to work in a large building, if a client comes to me and says, hey, I want a really large building with so many stories, then I can't do a type five. I have to do a type one or a type two or, or you know, somewhere in between. Now, what that takes me to now is I'll go to chapter six. And this explains uh, the types of constructions a little bit. So in chapter six, I go to what makes a type one and a type two building. So you'll notice here that it says, you know, type one and type two construction uh, is construction in which the building elements listed in table 601 are of non-combustible materials, right? So if I'm working on a type one or a type two building, then I have to use non-combustible materials. So this is where steel framing comes into play because now it, sometimes people think, oh, well, it's cheaper. You know, it's cheaper to do one versus the other. Sometimes it's not about cost. Sometimes I can't use wood, period. So I have to use steel. Um, there's others where, you know, type three can be a mixture and I'm not going to get into all the details, but in essence, that's why um, 
I end up choosing steel. It depends on the building type that I'm working on. So if I'm, if I'm working on a type one or type two building, I have to use steel. In type three buildings, I don't have to, but oftentimes I do just because of fire ratings and things like that. So to me, it's more of a fire life safety thing. Uh, you don't want it to be a combustible material. And when I am allowed to do a wood versus steel, then sometimes cost comes into play and whatnot. But for the most part, I use steel because I have to. Okay. I hope you like that small clip. If you're a student and having me come to your school for a lecture is something that you think you want, talk to your professors about it. And if you are a professor and you would like to invite me to come for a lecture, feel free to reach out to me for details. Before you go, please don't forget to like the video if in fact you liked it. And if you haven't already done so, please don't forget to subscribe. If you think anybody else would like any of the Archie Corner videos, please feel free to send them a link. But for now, this is it. This is Archie Corner signing out.